Hey friends, so it has been forever since I have talked about books on here just because I had my New York trip and then I was crazy busy with orders from a video going viral on my Kindle account and then I got sick on top of everything. So I haven't gotten to talk about any of the books that I have got from my book boxes or from my New York trip. So in this video, we're going to start that process and we're going to start with the books I got in New York City. So the first book I got is actually not from New York City, it was from Syracuse because that was where we stopped first for a few days and I got Girls Like Girls from Parthenon Books which was a very queer friendly bookstore in Syracuse right in downtown. It was absolutely stunning. They had so many LGBT picks and I would absolutely go again and I highly recommend them. The next book I got was in New York City and this was from a place called Three Lives & Co and it was about a block down from Stonewall and it was Page Boy by Elliot Page. This book I actually got on audio because I really love listening to memoirs from the authors, but I was like, I'm right here in the heart of where everything happened with LGBTQ rights and I'm at an LGBT bookstore. I have to get an LGBT book. So I thought it was the perfect opportunity to grab this one while I was there. So these next books are from a place that I've been wanting to go forever and it was like one of my bucket list bookstores that I had to go to at some point and it was the Strand Bookstore in New York City. Their whole thing is 18 miles worth of books and it's throughout four stories and it absolutely did not disappoint. There were so many books and it just so happened that we were there on Strand Day so we actually got to go upstairs on the top floor for the rare books room that they have. We got all types of special deals. We got discounts. We got signed books. It was amazing. Like I could not have wished for a better time to go. So the first book we got, which was on the main floor, is If Tomorrow Doesn't Come. And this is where a lot of their signed YA books were. I'm so happy for this one. And then since Ashley and I both got books, we hit the minimum purchase to get the special Strand Day gift. And we got that as well as this little metal bookmark. And it's a profile image of the Strand Bookstore on the corner with their flag and the gold. And it was just, it was so cute. I love it. I put it in my little container up there, which I have decided is going to carry bookmarks now instead of pins. The last book is More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera. And this is one I've been looking years for because it's one of his earlier books and they no longer publish it in hardback and they no longer publish it with this cover. So finding this specific one that's not crazy expensive has been so hard to do and I found this one for only ten dollars so it was probably my prized possession from the New York trip and I'm glad to have it so those are our books hope you enjoyed all right so the next thing I have to talk about is my rainbow crate and I realized I made an oopsie and when it came I never talked about the May book box which was fight like hell and this had some really cool stuff in it, so I'm going to show this one in the first video. So we start off with the spoiler art card, which uh, is from The Sun and the Star, which is this month's traditionally published book. Next we have the collectible monthly magnet, which is Rosa and I believe Hu Yi from Burning Roses. This is not one I've read before, but it looks really cute and I really want to read it now. Then we have a collectible deep dish mug. And this is from the indie book, The Deep. It's another one I have not read, but I'm very excited for it. There's been a lot of mermaids this month and I love it. Our traditionally published book is The Sun and the Star by Rick Reardon and Mark, or yeah, Mark Ashir Ashiro. And it has a ton of little gold accents and I absolutely love it. If you have read Percy Jackson, this is probably something you'll absolutely love. And if you have not read Percy Jackson, the way it was written is still good enough for it to be a single story on its own. And underneath, we also have the original cover that it was published with, which I absolutely adore. It also came with the book plate and an author letter from both authors. And then lastly, we have our indie published book, which is The Fate of Stars by S.D. Simpler and this one is absolutely stunning. It has a rainbow holographic foiling underneath. And on the inside, we have these stunning ocean end papers, the traditional nutrition facts. And on the back, we have the same end papers 
and then look at those edges. It's like mermaid scales and I absolutely love them. They also go on the top and bottom, which is something not a lot of book boxes do. So Rainbow Crate, bravo, absolutely love it. All right, so that is everything from our May Fight Like Hell Rainbow Crate book. And in the next video, I'll be showing off June's box. For this video, we are talking about the June box, which was a spark of magic. To start us off, we have our monthly spoiler card and art print. And this is from our traditional book of the month, which is the first Sprite thing. Absolutely love this book. Then we have our collectible monthly magnet and this one I'm gonna have to read, um, but it features Cameron, Zion, and Aaliyah from Cameron Battle and the Hidden Kingdoms. This is a book I have not read, but absolutely love the stunning magnet. So as you all know, they always do two items in each box and the second item is actually really, really big and it's really, really special. So I'm gonna do it at the very end of the video. But we're gonna go into the traditional book of the month, which is the first bright thing. This is their redesigned cover. I cannot express how much I love this book. It was so good. Think X-Men, but in a magical circus where they try to help people everywhere they go. It was, I was absolutely good. And the themes in it were a little bit darker, but I think it was really good and really important for a lot of things that are currently going on in our society. And then underneath we have the original cover of the first bright thing and we have the traditional nutrition facts i can't get over this i love that rainbow crate does that in every box it, or in every book that they do absolutely love it next we have the indie published book which is prince of sorrows by kellen graves and this one was very simply done with the edges but those gilded ruby edges are stunning and again all three sides are impeccable then we go inside and we have these stunning end papers and our nutrition facts as always and on the back side we have the same end papers but still just just as stunning i absolutely love them and underneath on the naked hardcover we have more foiling and this one is a very bright light blue i absolutely love it and I'd just like to say that over the last few books we've gotten, Rainbow Crate's like foiling and under designing has gotten so much better. It's like each book has gotten better. And I think the June 23 box is probably one of my favorite boxes on book picks, on designs, and on the items. It's, this has been a really good box. And our last item is this amazing fleece blanket. These are all of the books that Rainbow Crate has done over their three years and this blanket is to represent their three-year anniversary as a company and I absolutely love it. I have already used this multiple times since it got here and it's just this box is perfect like I've said multiple times already. Absolutely love it. And in this video we are talking about the June Illumicrate YA book and this month they went with one of the Daphne Press books which was the Sun and the Void. And this one is absolutely stunning. It's got a very two-toned theme through the whole thing. We've got the white on the top, black on the bottom, and tons of gold foiling. We have the edging here. I don't know if this is a single or if this is supposed to be the start of a series. I kind of hope it's a series because I feel like the coloring is going to look great through all of these. And then we have the back. And then underneath, we've got some really good foiling. So on the underneath the Naked Heart back, we have a simple gold design. It, it is a lot really simple compared to some other past ones. And I know a lot of people were complaining about that, but I kind of like it because there's so much going on on the rest of the book. And then underneath, we have these stunning end papers. I absolutely love them. And it's the same on the back. And last but not least, we have the edging, which this one is a three-sided edging, which I always give props when companies do that because I feel it goes the extra mile. So on the side, we have the moon and the stars. On the top, we continue with the stars. And then underneath, we continue with more moon and stars. And I just think that edging is superb. Good job, Illumicrate, for the June. Also something I forgot to mention with this book, uh, this book is a chonker and it is almost as thick 
as the Priory of the Orange Tree and Day of Fallen Night that I have up there. It's not exactly, but it's probably like 50 to 75 pages off from those. And those are almost 900 pages. So it it's crazy and it's big and I absolutely love it. I'm actually gonna look and see how many pages. This one's actually like 550 pages, but it's still almost as big as those two books up there. It's crazy. All right, so this is a second video for Illumicrate, and this one is a special edition set that I bought that came at the beginning of last month. But it is my set of the London Calling series by Alexis Hall. So the first book we have in the set is Boyfriend Material, and this one is a blue aesthetic. It's stunning. We have really cute end papers underneath. It's the same on the front and back, I believe. Yeah, it's we're on the same off arm back, but they're still really, really cute. And then for the edges, we have these cameras for paparazzi. And this one goes top, middle, and bottom. So again, props to Rainbow Crate for doing that. I see that as extra mile. Then we have book two, which is husband material. And this one is more of a red aesthetic. I think they go beautifully together. They are absolutely stunning. And inside we have very similar and papers and they are same on front as on the back then we also have the edges which again top middle and bottom that y'all don't know how happy this makes me whenever i see this from the special edition books last but not least on the naked hardcovers we have silver foil and cameras and umbrellas for each book that has them respectively and it's simple but it's cute so that is my editions of the london calling series by alexis hall from illumicrate have you got these books are you interested in these books because if you are i believe illumicrate still has a couple of these on their site i believe they also have some of the mortal follies book which is alexis hall's newest book that is coming out so if you're interested in that one they're coming out with it i kind of hope they do more by alexis hall and they keep them all on this similar aesthetic train because moral follies is pink so it's like we've got a book in every color and i really i just really hope they continue it absolutely love this set go off illumigrate love it this is our fairy loop monthly and as you know last month i switched to the combo box which has the ya book and the adult book but books only so the first one we have is the YA book and this is sing me to sleep by gabby burton this cover is stunning it's got nice little shiny on it with the water going through then we have nice siding and a very similar design on the back underneath we have gorgeous and papers that I absolutely love and we have different ones on the front and back this is another one of those little things that I give book boxes props for when they do because it's just a little extra effort and I absolutely love when they do that then underneath we have the edges and these edges really flow well to the book I think they look a little faded for me but other than that, the design of them is, is really nice. I absolutely love that. And I didn't show underneath, we have a very similar cover as the rest, but it's still really pretty. I really like printing covers that don't have characters on them. So note to book boxes, if you do them, just personally, I don't like the characters, but I, I love that. And I love characters on the end papers. I don't know, something about that is just a better vibe. And next we have the adult book, which is Shanghai Immortal by A.Y. Chow, or Cho, I'm not sure, I'm sorry if I mispronounced, but this is one that I was really excited for. I've heard a lot of people talking about it, and so when I heard it was the pick for June, I got very excited. Underneath, we have the edges that kind of flow with the rest of the book, so I kind of really like that. It feels like it's a little, I don't know, it's hard to tell what it is. And this one had the same issue as the YA book where it's like it's faded almost. And I don't know if that was on purpose, but I do give them props for going above and below. So 
that, that was very exciting. Underneath we have another printed gold foiling and it's very simple. There's not anything on the back other than like a little color gradient, but it's simple, but it's nice. Inside we have these gorgeous end papers and they are different on the front and back. Again, props for that. I also got prints for both of the books with the author letters, and that's not something I always get with my books, so I'm excited about that. Here you have it, that is our June Fairy Loop YA and Adult Books. What did you guys think? Have you gotten these? Are you excited to read them?